Well, hi, everybody, and welcome back to It's a Great Day to Serve the Lord. And today I want to talk about absorbing God's grace, absorbing the grace of God, understanding what grace actually does. You see, there, there is a practical side to grace. It's not just a concept, but it's something that we can use, something that we can use. It's not just a, a theological idea, uh, but it's something that's real and relevant to the believer who has found that leaning on God and into His grace helps us get through even the toughest of times. I've discovered there's really three aspects to this idea, this concept of absorbing the grace of God into your life. And, and first is this idea of needing it. Uh, uh, then we, once we know we need it, we have. To, how do you find it? And once you find it, how do you use it? So let's talk about that. Let's talk about needing it. You know, I, I've always wondered about the strong, the powerful, the confident, the winners. I, I've always wondered, uh, you know, about these people that always seem to be on top of things. And, and what I've wondered is, uh, do they know how broken they are? Do they understand how weak they really are? Or do they live in some kind of state of permanent denial? I've I just wondered that. You see, 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9, uh, Paul says, or at, Paul's talking about what grace does and, and, and what God is saying to him. He says, my grace, God says, is sufficient for you. It's all you need, basically. For my power is the greatest when you are weak. Isn't that odd? You see, there's a, there's a paradoxical aspect to this idea of grace being a reality in our life. And, and the first is that we know, we need to know that we need it. We really do. We, we need to admit that we need it. We need to admit that we are weak, that we're in need of something, that we're lacking something in our own abilities. And God's saying, you know, really, my grace is all you need. It's sufficient for you. It's all you need. For my power is greatest when you come to that realization that you are weak and in need. And, and <laughs> let me say this. God wouldn't have said we need it unless we really need it. Here's the truth. We are need, weak and in need of God's grace. You are weak and in need of God's grace. Listen, I, I know there are several scriptures that talk about being strong and courageous. But again, encouragement like this wouldn't be necessary unless there was some absence of strength, some absence of courage, some admittance of weakness. Be strong and courageous because I am with you, God says. Not because you have it in your own ability. Well, once we know we need it, we need to know how to find it, don't we? How do we find this all-consuming grace of God? And, and, and really, we find and discover God's grace when we reach out to Him in the midst of the struggle, in the midst of the trial, in the midst of a problem. And, and sometimes, some of us just simply have to hit bottom to find it. The scripture above, or the scripture I previously quoted from 2 Corinthians 2, verse 9, the, the verse just preceding it, Paul says, three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me. What's he talking about? Well, he's talking about his thorn in the flesh, and we don't know what that is. I mean, it could be some kind of a reoccurring illness. It could be something. It could be an addiction. Three times, Paul says, in my weakness, I asked God to take it away from me. Paul is acknowledging he needs it, and he knows he needs to look to God to find it. And then once you find it, how do you use it? What's the practical aspect of this? Well, I, I think to, to tap into God's grace is to sense and feel his closeness, especially in the midst of the trial, in the midst of the struggle, in the midst of the loss, in the midst of the problems. And then we can say, as the psalmist did in Psalm 70. 3 verse 26, 
My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. My strength and my heart may fail. I, I, I may uh, uh, um, be spent. I, I may be depressed. I, I may have you know, some kind of an illness that just continues to fail. I may have a loss. I may know that I'm weak. I may struggle with something. But God is my strength and my portion forever. When we, in the midst of those issues of life, tap into that sense of God's closeness and God's nearness, that the Holy Spirit is giving us something supernatural, something we don't have on our own strength. We can't get through it on our own strength. But we go to God, we go to God, we go to God, and we use it. We who know the grace of God, who have felt it cover us throughout all of the issues of life, have become living testimonies of what it means to have God in our life through Jesus Christ. The psalmist again says in Psalm 66, 16, Come and hear all who fear God, and let me tell you what He has done. You, you, you see, um, when we uh, know we need it, when we found God's grace and tap into it, when we use it as the strength of our life, our portion forever, then we tell others about it. How can you not? How can you not tell others about it? And okay, okay, I'm going to use this opportunity to talk about the NFC Championship this past week, the 49ers against the Lions. And, uh, and, and, and Brock Purdy, when he, is, when he is interviewed, he gives a living testimony. And he says, you know, when I'm down, and I'm quoting, when I'm down 17 at half, honestly, I'm just thinking, all right, God, you've taken me here, and win or lose, I'm going to glorify you. That's my peace, the joy, the steadfastness. That's where I get it. I wonder dear friend, what you would say if someone would interview you. What would you tell others about what God has done for you? What would you tell others about absorbing and needing and finding and using the grace of God? I think that's something to think about and pray about this week. And I challenge you to do that and then to tell others what would you tell others about what God has done because of the grace and the mercy of Jesus Christ? Well, that's your devotion for this week. I hope it encourages you. I hope it lifts you. And I hope you find the grace of God this week in all aspects of your life. And uh, for those of you that have supported this channel, thank you very much. If you would like to support it, there's a donation link below. God bless you and remember. It's a great day to serve the Lord.